Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Um, I have our second book for us today. I'm sorry you didn't get to see Flurry yesterday, my kitten. She's in here somewhere. I don't know if she'll pop out or not. My guess is she's sleeping somewhere. Now, the story I'm going to read to you today is probably from a book that a lot of you already know because um, these stories have been around for a really long time. And you probably read some, I think you might have actually read one of them in second grade so far this year. And if not, um, you might have picked them up last year and maybe you even read it by yourself. But this is from the book called Frog and Toad Together. And one of my very favorite stories is in this story, in this book. There's actually five different stories in this book of Frog and Toad Together. And the one that we're going to read, keeping with our theme this week, is called The Garden. Are you ready? Get yourself in a nice listening position. And we'll get started. All right. Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog, but it, it is very nice but it was hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Said, Plant them in the ground, said Frog, and soon you will have a garden. How soon, asked Toad. Quite soon, said Frog. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad, start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, Now seeds start growing. Toad looked down at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Can you think of a word that he's being right now that maybe starts with the letter I? Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds start growing! Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise? he asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. Those poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow? Of course, said Frog. Leave them in alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. That night, Toad looked out his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seeds a story, Toad said. Then they will not be afraid. Once upon a time, said Toad. Toad read a, lo a long story to his, his seeds. Do you think it helped? All the next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad read poems to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad played music for his seeds. Toad looked down at the ground. The seeds did not start to grow. What shall I do? cried Toad. These must be the most frightened seeds in the whole world. And then Toad felt very tired and fell asleep. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants were coming up out of the ground. At last, shouted Toad, my seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad, but you were right, Frog. It was very hard work. The end. Now, do you think he should have, it should have been that much work for him? Do you think maybe he should have just been a little bit more patient? That's hard to do sometimes, isn't it? How many times this week do you think mom or somebody in your family has said, you just need to be patient to you? I know. Mrs. O has a hard time with that sometimes, too. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today from Frog and Toad Together. 
and if you like this book or have it at home you might want to get it out and take a look at the other four stories because they're good ones too especially the one one about cookies because i don't know about you cookies are one of my favorite things in the world all right my friends i hope you enjoyed today's activity and i will see you back on thursday with our last story for this week all right take care friends i'll see you on thursday